Good morning, Rafikis. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Matindi, Matindi Jacobs. I've received a couple of new subscribers, so a warm welcome to all of you. Maybe I'll just explain what it is that I do on my channel for purposes of just inducting you. So my channel is all about home decor, home organization, and lifestyle videos. I'm a homemaker. Uh, I like to make my house look beautiful, and I thought I'd do some videos and just show you guys what my process is. And I hope you like the content that I produce and I'm really excited to uh, have you guys on my journey with me. So I've also noticed a lot of Kenyan subscribers. So Karibu, Karibuni to my new Kenyan subscribers. How are you guys doing over there? Are you guys under lockdown? I was talking to my dad who lives in Machakos, um, Kasanga, uh, Kasinga. In, I was talking to him over the weekend and he was telling me that everything is there. They're basically being forced to close down much earlier and the pubs are closed and what what so i know that it's affecting all of us and let me know down in the comments below what you guys are doing to keep sane so i'm working from home i've got a two-year-old so you can imagine what that is like not getting as much as i would have hoped to get done done because he needs a lot of attention and of course komani being komani seeing me at home it's just mama mama this mama that and yeah, so it's been a bit of a whirlwind, but I'm hoping to get some stuff done. I actually shared on my Instagram the, yesterday the, some of the things that I'm going to be doing, a to do the to do list basically while we're in self isolation. Some of the stuff I'm going to do around the house. And today's video, I'm just basically taking you guys along with me as I uh, organize my pantry and just do some organization around the house. Um, and then I'm also going to do a small haul from Mr. Price Home. I got some stuff a couple of weeks ago that I'll show you guys. Uh, and then take home as well, some of the stuff that I got there that I'll be using in my organization or my pantry. That's about it. And then we just chit chat through it. And yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are doing. I'd love to hear your ideas. It's always good to share. What are some of the things that you guys are planning to do around your house to just keep busy, to just elevate your living standards during this time and just inhabit your homes better? I um, mean, it's very important now more than ever because we're going to be spending so much time at home to really create a place that um, speaks to you, a place that celebrates you. And uh, I think some of the content I've created can really help you do that. Uh, you can start just with one room at a time and just organize it, just redecorate it and style it just so that you feel better about being home, you know. Um, I feel like human beings basically thrive and do better when they're in the surrounding that they love. And, we need to learn how to love our homes, whether they're small, big, you know, you need to learn how to love what God has given you. So guys, at the time of recording this video, South Africa has gone under lockdown for the next 21 days. And that is pretty scary for us in Namibia because we rely so heavily in South Africa. And anyone's guess is how long it's going to take until we get a lockdown as well. So it's a very scary time and all I can really encourage everyone to do it's just to stay home, self-isolate and um, just distance yourself and try and secure your environment, your surroundings, make sure you're sanitizing, make sure you're washing your hands and pray guys, we need to pray. But um, I read something the, the day before yesterday about the biggest tragedy out of all of this will not necessarily be the losses. Yes, that's really, really bad. But the biggest tragedy will be us coming out of this unchanged. So I also believe that there's a spiritual connotation to this coronavirus. And I believe that God is just sort of compelling us to pause and take stock and to just uh, give all glory and honor back to him. And just to remember how small we are in the context of everything. And uh, the time is giving us time to reflect, time to spend time uh, with our families, with our loved ones. And I really hope that we take advantage of this time to just really do better and become better human beings. And So these are sliding drawer organizers. I bought these from Mr. Price Home. And you can use it for utensils and gadgets. I'm going to use it upstairs. Uh, just organize some of the gadgets we have in the drawers in our pajama lounge. And this was 149, I'm going to take 150. And I purchased two of these. Um, so that's one, and then that's two. So this is from Mr. Price Home. And then over here, let me just put the camera down so that it's more steady. So this, and 
these are really cute. So these are little candle holders. I thought they were so pretty. You put a little tea light candle in there. And this was $29.99. So I got these, I think, in two sizes. And I got three of those each. So that's the short one. And then this is the longer one. Let me just give you uh, an idea of the scale. And this one was $59.99. So you see it's double world glass, which I love. Actually, quite similar to this mug of mine that I also bought at Mr. Bryson. So yeah, I'm going to use this to decorate on my dining room table uh, when I'm having a candlelight dinner. I'm just around the house basically. So I bought, I think, three of each of those. I got a small bit. And then I'll wrap those later. And then, what else do we have in here? I also got some candles. So these candles were ridiculously expensive at first. Um, let me show you what I mean. So these candles, 159. Look at how small this is. I mean, this is, that's the size of it. This is small. This is, I don't know. They don't indicate the size, but it's a small candle, right? And they were, I think, overly, way overly priced. Uh, way overly, way, way overpriced, sorry. And so they came down to $39 on sale and I got this and the flavor is sandalwood. So I just stocked up on these. I think I bought two or something, two or four of them. And they're just nice to use around the house in the guest bathroom. And I always like to have candles around. And then it also comes in a much smaller size. This is the mini one. And then this was $39. I got it for $25. And that's the flavor green tea and lemongrass. I'm not sure if these are soy based. Okay, 25% soy wax, which is still a good amount of soy. Um, so that's the candle. This candles, candles. No candles. Okay, let me move over to the stuff I bought from Pepo. From Pep Home, I bought these. I think these are really pretty. So these are just tin, tin cookie jars. Yeah, cookie tins, cookie tins. I like the, um, I like the texture on there. I think the texture is really good and this full wood lid. So I'm going to put like cookies in there. I'm going to put like rusks in there. And I bought them, how many of them did I buy? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six of these. And they were $36.99. And yeah, so I'm going to stack these on top of each other and just make sure everything that I purchase in terms of food has a home. And then these I got from Mary Pack. So these are Tupperware. These are Tupperware or Buckies, just plastic containers. And I'm not going to make use of the lid. I really just bought them because of the, I like the length of it. So I'm going to use it just to store stuff again. Instead of, if, like, if I've got, like, a long drawer and I can't really get um, an organizer in there, then these are some things that you're able to use. And you just stack them against each other. So the idea is basically just to have them in a drawer, pet side by side like this, and uh, you basically create an efficient system in terms of which you're able to, like, just pack all your stuff. So these are basically my own way of making and organizing my drawers, just using away or Okabakis to just get my stuff in order. So these ones were quite cheap. They were how much? They were nineteen dollars. That's the price. They were nineteen dollars ninety. So yeah, so that's all I got. Um, now I'm going to get into the next part of the video, which is organizing my pantry. Let's get into it. So this is how the pantry currently looks like, and my stuff is. I don't have enough space in here, so I've got some other stuff in other cupboards but this is where I keep most of the stuff anyways um so we just want to get the system going again uh the jars that I'm using are these ones I purchased these from Pepo so I'm just going to be recycling those and just making sure that everything is labeled making sure these packages are also put in jars just for uniformity so let me start by removing everything Ooh, I'm getting tired just thinking about the work I need to do so I started my organization process by first removing all the items that were in this cupboard, placing them on the counter and then just giving the cupboard a good clean out using my handmade, sorry, my homemade sanitizer and all-purpose cleaner. 
I then moved on to the next step, which was basically just to take stock of the items that needed to be restocked and then the items that need to be placed in jars. So I started with uh, these cocoa pops. I just placed them in jars. Now, I don't have jars that look, not all of them look at the same. Some of these ones are older ones, but I was still going to make use of them as long as the things still look uniform. So I basically just did that and made sure that everything had a home. So as you can see, these cookie tins came in really handy when I had to package the bulkier items such as the uh, rust you just saw now and the cookies of course and then like the wheat picks, we've got a lot of wheat picks, it's actually my son's favorite cereal. So these are quite handy, I would recommend you get them, they're also available in black from Pep Home with that uh, full wooden lid, really 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 love them. So I did the same for our instant noodles and then uh, just to remind myself when these items are going to expire for the items that we don't use so often I just cut that little expiration date table label off and then I just placed it in the cookie jar, the cookie tin so I'm able to remember when to use it by. So after the tedious task of placing all those food items in those containers and jars came my favorite part which is basically doing the labeling. This label maker I purchased on Amazon, I purchased it last year. It's so efficient, I use it to label everything, everything in our house is labeled you guys. <laughs> I will link it down in the description below and you can go ahead and have a look at it. So you basically just type out what it is that you want to label. I was struggling over here, I, I'd actually forgotten how to spell spaghetti, I need to go back to work you guys. <laughs> so you, uh, you, you basically uh, indicate what kind of font you want, you can underline it, you can make it bold, and then you just print it out and it comes out here in the corner and then you snip it and then you're able to paste it. So it's self-adhesive, you're able to then paste it on the jar or whatever it is that you want to use it for. Very very handy guys, this is a must have, I'll urge you to go onto Amazon and purchase one yourself and you can have it then shipped over via Amazon directly to Namibia, but I like to make use of UK Two Men, which is a very efficient service by a good friend of mine, Morningstar. I will also link her services in the description box below. So when you're placing your labels on the jars, you want to remember to keep it uniform. So you want to position them all in the same place, in the same direction, of course, just so that it looks neat. So I was just making sure that I put them all at the top there so I'm able to see it from whatever direction I'm looking at it from.
So after I was done labeling the jars, the next step came to basically put the jars back in the cupboard. So I was just cleaning them, making sure uh, I didn't leave any residue oil or dust on them and just placing them in there. And I did this a couple of times say, before I was satisfied with how they looked like. I just wanted to make sure I'd be able to reach them at any time and also make sure that the stuff that I use the most is uh, really at a convenient place. So I did this on day one, but on day two I actually went back and moved uh, the entire thing into another cupboard because I felt like this one was too high. But I'll just let you guys watch this part anyways, um, just to get an idea of how it is that I was able to organize it. So for the items that I wasn't able to store in the storage uh, containers or jars, I basically placed them in this storage basket. I bought this from Game. I think they were about $79 and I was just about to label it there. And then I basically just put all the, the items that were left over um, inside here and I'm able to restock them from there. And then I just like to use pegs, just your normal pegs to just seal the container just to make sure that no air goes inside. So, these storage containers are excellent for the leftover things that you're not able to place in your jars and they are from game. So after I did this, I realized that I wasn't very satisfied with the way my dish uh, cupboard looks like. So I decided to redo that and I basically swapped the pantry with the dish cupboard. This is how it looks like. It was a bit of a mess. So I decided just to organize that as well. So I basically moved everything that you see here to where the dishes are and then I organized that. So I did this on day two. And now for the big reveal. Voila! So this is how everything looks like after I decided to swap the two cupboards, that is the, dish and cup, uh, the dishes cupboard with the pantry cupboard. And I must tell you that I'm much more impressed with this. This looks much better, much neater. Everything has some space to shine, some space to move. I can grab, I've got better access to the items there at the back and it just looks way neater. So I'm very, very happy that I decided to do this and my pantry is finally organized and a true representation of who I am. I mean, come on guys. <laughs> So yes, this is how it looks like. I've actually ordered some uh, bamboo scoops online on Amazon. When they arrive, I'll show you how this looks like. And basically the idea is just to put them in each of those jars. So you see everything is nice and neat. This is basically where I've got my side plates, my bowls, and I can see everything nicely now. So this is the cupboard where I keep uh, the bigger items and then my cooking oils and then the baskets that I showed you earlier are in here and yeah so everything has a home now everything looks much neater and I'm so happy you guys joined me in my organization of my pantry video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care, stay home and stay safe. Mwah.